air signs, welcome to your weekly reading for the 23rd through the 29th. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So this is a energy check-in for the 23rd through the 29th. I'm going to take a look at love, life, and advice to see what's going on with the air signs. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. So let's see what's going on with the air signs in the week ahead. Love, life, and advice. All right, so let's get, this is a psychic tarot deck. So I'm going to pull one oracle for each. And then, um, well, I guess that's your card. And then we'll clarify with some tarot. So we have embrace here which is 21, which is the world energy. So this is about cycles ending, cycles beginning, new cycles beginning. So let's see what's on the base chakra, which is one, which is ones are all about new beginnings. And base chakra is all about your basis, your foundation, um, foundations such as your home, your relationships, your work, your career, and that sort of energy. So something new, and this is love. So this could be... Um, new cycle with a uh, new love interest here hmm, okay so let's see all the decks are listed below if you're interested in the decks i'm using uh, social media is down there how to reach out for personal reading and uh, playlist for bonus readings are down below also so you can check that out if you like to all right so let's get one for life what's going on in life and we have realizations and epiphanies. Hmm. And we have retirement. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean like re retiring from your job. You could just re be retiring an old habit, um, something not serving you anymore. Could be a job, maybe starting a new job. Does it mean you're totally re retiring for good? Maybe some of you are. Um, I, I'm having an energy of like maybe some having a realization, an epiphany about something. Could be person, place, or thing. Maybe no longer serving them and it's time just to retire that energy from your life is what I'm ga gathering also. Could also mean, you know, retire for a while. You know, go get some rest, go on vacation. That sort of energy also. So let's get your advice for the week. Your signs. If you're not familiar with my uh, channel, I do all kind of readings on my channel, so you can check it out. If you like what you see, you're welcome to subscribe. So we have here, reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help we are offered as it is about the emotional benefits in learning that is own, that is truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So some of you either need to uh, reach out for somebody, either for help, guidance, advice, um, or if you're feeling someone around you is in need of that energy, maybe um, <clears throat> you need to reach out to somebody who needs that sort of uh, help and assistance. And it may be somebody who was afraid to ask because I just got very, um, my throat just got very itchy, scratchy. And we have here, stay connected. We're all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. So some of you, this could be reaching out and connecting to the spiritual side of things. Um, but also with the stay connected, I know it's giving a spiritual message, but maybe there's some people in your life you really need to stay connected with. Um, you know, maybe they need that support, that friendship, that guidance, that connectiveness of other people. Um, and maybe if you haven't reached out to somebody in a very long time and you've been thinking about it, this may be a uh, spirit's way of telling you to stay connected to certain uh, people, places, or things. So how, however that resonates for you, as always, take what resonates for you only. And these energies don't necessarily just have to be for uh, this week ahead. This could be messages that need to come out now, but this could be intended for any time. 
I do consider all my readings timeless. I know they're dated, but um, you can go back and watch uh, Find Your Sign and watch past readings if you like to. So let's get some clarity on this energy for you. Air signs for the week ahead. What's going on in love? So we got the Hermit that flew out here with the Seven of Swords energy. So we have Virgo and air energy here, which is your energy. Seven of Swords is kind of like an energy of sneaking away from something or feeling like you need to sneak away. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a bad energy. All right, so Four of Pentacles. So somebody's seriously holding back here with the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit energy. That's really being uh, reclusive and kind of um, like going off on your own here. And the Seven of Swords, like that sneaking. Uh, maybe somebody here is afraid of this connection because this is, you know, like embracing the new, which base chakra. And one is all about new energy. So this definitely could be a new relationship. Somebody looks like they're holding back or they're afraid. Um, they've retreated. They've, you know, sneaking away kind of energy. So let's get one more. What's going on here? Two wands. Decision, though. Decision being made. Somebody will make a decision here on this uh, love situation. So three pentacles. So some, you know, may want to come together, work together on this very slowly, build very slowly. Three of pentacles about teamwork, collaboration. Somebody will see the light with that Herman energy. Uh, you know, that's retrospective work going in, doing that inner soul work, you know, retreating. Maybe they've snuck away. Maybe, you know, you haven't heard from them, but somebody will make a decision here to want to come together, work together on this. I think a very slow, practical approach with the pentacle energy we have earth here and we have uh, fire we have um, air so I don't have any um, cup energy so they may not be a water sign I have Virgo and I have Leo Sag Aries and I have Virgo Taurus Capricorn and your energy Libra Gemini Aquarius so so let's see what this uh, retirement and realizations and epiphanies is. So we got the Queen of Wands. So it's a very fiery go-getter kind of energy. And, you know, wand energy can be like a very um, creative energy, entrepreneurship kind of energy. So this could be somebody that um, I feel like either owns their own business or wants to go in that direction of owning um, a business of some kind to their wish fulfillment with a Nine of Cups energy here. So... I feel like somebody's having a realization, or this could also all some be uh, past energy in these readings also. Now we've got two here now, the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups energy here. So now we have water energy, and we have Taurus, and we have water again, and that fire energy. we got two queens here, so it could be two people maybe going into partnership here um, or something like that. Uh, being very committed here with the uh, Taurus energy. So being very committed to, I feel, a very uh, passionate energy, creative energy, entrepreneur energy, or something like that. Totally loving this with the Queen of Cups energy and being committed to this uh, wish fulfillment. Maybe may need a time out here with that retirement card, maybe just to think things through clearly um, in this process. Or maybe if this is somebody who does own a business, like I said, you know, maybe you just need to get away and um, go on a vacation or something like that. Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this definitely could be somebody who does own their own business or is very successful in some way, creative way or something like that. And, you know, doesn't really have to worry here with the Ten of Pentacles. It makes their money, makes their coins, they're steady, they're stable, they're grounded. Uh, very committed to their work, I feel. Um and I think you need to realize that you may need to take more vacations or you may need to take more breaks or take better care of yourself or something like that. And pink, you know, I think of love. So maybe more self-love on yourself here. All right. So what does this reach out and stay connected about for the air signs, please? 23rd to the 29th, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Oh, we've got quite a few here. The hangman, Pisces energy, six of pentacles, earth. And the Tower's Aries. 
so they, they could be friend and the six of pentacles um a very balanced energy pentacles is like a friendship energy work co-worker also the tower can be you know i feel like there could be somebody that you um have been disconnected to for a while with the hangman maybe they're going through something or maybe you heard maybe you heard through the grapevine you heard through work maybe they're going through something here with the tower energy and that six of pentacle energy is all about that balance healing energy three of swords yes yeah. somebody somebody went through i think you might have found out somebody is going through something very heartbreaking here whatever it may be and uh three of cups yeah, coming together having a good time so um i think here that there's somebody like an old friend or an old family member you may have found out they're going through a really tough time maybe you've been disconnected for quite a while uh, but it's time for equal give and take. So with that Stay Connected, reach out uh, with the Three of Cups energy, maybe inviting them out for a drink, get together, maybe cheering them up, getting reconnected here. Um, let's get one more kind of energy. The High Priestess. Yeah, you you know. Follow your gut and your intuition. Your intuition. If you feel it's the right thing to do, uh, reach out to this person. I think they'd be glad to hear from you. It would be reciprocated equally equal exchange and uh i think getting them out and reconnecting would be a good thing so i hope that resonated for you uh air signs and i hope to see you next week for next week's energy and if you do like my style you're more than welcome to subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out and if you do thank you so much so best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel so always always shine your light